Hi guys, in this video we will talk about Site Audita product, its functionality and features. As you know, a lot of search engines don't like when the website has a lot of on-page errors. So this product will help you to find them and easily eliminate them in time so it doesn't have bad influence on your rankings. Let's start our discovering. We are in the overview section right now where you can find the overall information about on-page errors. Also, you can see the date of the last scanning. Here you can see three parts of this section. First of all, it's errors. They are the most important problems that should be eliminated in the first step. Second ones are less critical but still should be eliminated after, straight after the first ones. And notice these are the least important but still they have bad influence on rankings so should be fixed as well. Below these errors you can see the dynamics chart where you can pick the parameter and see how the number of pages with the certain errors changed over the selected period of time. Let's start the detailed discovering and move to the meta text section. At the meta text section you can see all the pages that have problems with meta text. For example, you can estimate overall changes on the chart. Just pick the parameter that you're most interested in and hover your mouse to see the number of pages that had this problem for the certain day of time. If you move lower, you will see different filters that allows you to filter the table below according to them. For example, let's choose duplicate titles. Duplicate titles will show you the list of the pages that have the same title on it. So we can see that this list of pages have the same title. We can see check another ones. Also you can see the overall information in the table that is related to the certain page. If this information is not enough for you, you can click the column chooser and drag and drop any parameters that you are interested in to the table. Let's pick, for example, duplicate meta tags. And you will see the number of the duplicate meta tags in here. Also, you can pick another parameters, for example, like readability, load time, which is very important for the user's experience. So you can see the information for these pages. Our tables are extremely flexible. It means that you can filter and sort them however you want to and however it's convenient to you. For example, let's filter these pages according to this value. In few moments the table will be filtered and you will see the results of it, this action. Also, you can sort the table according to your needs. For this, you need to pick the parameter and drag its header above the table. After a few seconds, it will be sorted according to this parameter. And you will see how it works. Here you are. Let's go to the content section. To discover its features. At the content section you will find all the pages that have some problems with the content and relevant to it meta tags. So to estimate changes hover your mouse on the chart and see how many pages had the certain problem for the certain date of the selected period of time. Lower you can see the filters that show you the exact problems. For example, duplicate pages. If you click on this filter, you will see the list of the pages that have similar or identical content. If you expand the row, you will see what exact page has the same content as the main one. Also, you can estimate overall information in the table. If this information is not enough, pick column chooser and drag and drop the parameter that you want to see the information for. Next three filters are irrelevance of the meta tags to your content. If you have this problem, you, we will absolutely show it and you will be able to eliminate it. Then let's go to the broken links. At this 
a filter, you can see the list of the pages that have reference to the page that has broken link. You can see it right here. This is the exact link. You can check it by clicking on this icon. And also the anchor for it. Next, there are invalid page size and plane size, which is the rate of the uh, sizes of the uh, plain text to your content size. Also, you can see the spelling mistakes right here. You can choose it and see what pages have spelling mistakes, see the exact spelling mistakes, and also you can add them to the exceptions or just ignore them, but it is better to fix them because if you have some mistakes on your page, then your user's experience will be pretty bad. Next, let's move on to the invalid image tags. At the response code checker section, you can see the invalid response code of your pages. We show redirects, broken links and server errors. At the chat, you can see the dynamics of the changes of these problems. Also, you can find the detailed information in the table. Just click on the filter you are interested in and you will see the filtered table. For example, we clicked on 400 response code, which are known as broken links, and you will see the pages that have this problem. For example, this one has broken link. If you click on it, you will see it. Also, you can see the link from the page that is leading to the page with the broken link. You can find out what anchor it has and what response code it gives to the user. Next, let's move to the page parameters section. At the page parameters section, you can see overall and very detailed information about your page's characteristics. You can see the list of the errors right here and estimate their changes on the chart. Also, you can see the filters that show you the exact problem. For example, not SEO friendly URL. If you want to find out what pages have this problem, just click on this filter and you will see the list of the links of such pages. Also, if you want to find out why your page is not SEO friendly, you can click on this icon and estimate the problem that it has. Here you can also find out what pages have flash or frame elements that are not indexed by Google. If you click on it, you will see the list of the pages and the additional information about them. Then let's move to the website checkup section. At the website checkup section you can find the information about your website that can have an influence on your rankings. For example, here you can estimate if you have SSL certificate, if it's valid, if your uh, website passed such tests as server signature, IP canonicalization, trash page, and directory browsing tests. Also, you can find out if your uh, website has sitemap and robot.txt files. If you want to find out some additional information about certain of this issue, just hover your mouse on the tooltip and read the detailed information about it. Next, let's move to the settings. At the settings section, you can edit some settings for the site auditor crawler. In the first part, you will be able to set the delay in seconds, set the depth limit for the scanning, and also customize robot.txt file right here. Then we give you an ability to set the robot's merge mode. Also, you have some settings for the spell checking. You can untick this box so our crawler won't scan your website for the spelling mistakes. Here you can add some exceptions that will be considered after next scanning. Eliminate all the problems that you have on your website to improve your rankings and promote your website better. Hope our site auditor product will help you in this task. Thank you for watching.